Welcome to the TMC5160 Getting Started Product Training Module. The TMC5160 is a fully integrated stepper motor driver and controller using external MOSFETs for high power drives, high current and low power dissipation. This IC allows control for each number of stepper motors from any single microcontroller. Optionally, drive the motor via a step and direction signal. It realizes all real-time critical tasks in hardware. This allows an easy-to-use interface and short design in cycles. Once configured, the motor can be driven, for example, by just giving the target position, commanding a homing sequence, or just by giving a target velocity. The TMC5160 fits into 12V, 24V and 48V systems and comes in two different packages with a small form factor for each. The TMC5160 features a wide voltage range, making it suitable for almost all standard voltages. Its full feature yields the best precision, efficiency and velocity from any motor. The external power MOSFETs allow optimization for a wide range of motors, power and voltage, as well as optimization of power dissipation or PCB footprint of the driver. The comprehensive feature set makes the TMC5160 a good choice for all applications which need precise, reliable and quiet drives with high power. Examples are robotics and industrial drives, pumps and valves, lab automation and liquid handling, as well as high-speed 3D printers. As the TMC5160 comes with all functions necessary to control and drive a motor, a high-level interface is sufficient to drive any number of motors from a master without real-time issues. The chip provides a UART as well as an SPI interface. So what is required for a standard setup? First, adapt the driver to the desired motor current and power supply voltage by choosing 8 standard AND MOSFETs or 4 dual MOSFETs. Select MOSFETs with an RDS on resulting in a reasonable power dissipation and choose a package fitting to mounting and space constraints. The TMC5160 may be used with 3.3V as well as with 5V IOs to adapt to the CPU supply voltage. Second, Connect the supply voltage to VCC I.O. accordingly. For noise filtering, use a 100 nanofarad capacitor against ground. SPI is best for on-PCB wiring. The TMC5160 is a complete remote controlled system when working with single wire or single wire differential bus for distances up to several meters. In this case, Take care of good ground interconnection and protection of the bus pins from drawing ground current in case ground gets interrupted. The power supply terminals should be filtered with 100 nanofarad capacitors as a good practice. In case VSA uses the same supply voltage as VM, the additional capacitor C4 at VSA may be left away. There is a huge choice of fitting MOSFETs on the market. A MOSFET is characterized by RDS on, voltage stability, its package and gate drive requirements. One hint for applications up to 3.5 amps RMS. The most compact solution is the TMC5161. It integrates the TMC5160 together with 8 power MOSFETs in a tiny 10 by 10 mm package. A sense resistor is the most common way to set the motor current. It provides best precision when using a 1% type. A 5% type also performs fine for most applications. The selection of appropriate sensor resistors depends on the following considerations. First, the maximum current to be driven into the motor. Use the peak value required. To get more power out of a motor, you can provide a boost current above the nominal current. Up to 50% more current is realistic for short time, like in the acceleration phase. Second, the maximum power dissipation resulting from the selection of the resistor. A 0805 resistor is sufficient for 1 amp of motor current. Higher currents require 2010 or 2512 resistors. For the best sense resistors to match different motor currents, see the calculation formula. The given bomb is dimensioned for 48 volt 
peak motor supply voltage while offering a tiny footprint. It is realized on the TMC5160 breakout board. The given sense resistors are designed for a maximum current of up to 2.8 amps RMS phase current. The actual RMS current can be adapted to lower settings by initialization via software. A configuration guide is provided in the datasheet and helps to find the best fit to the motor and application environment. The evaluation board and the configuration wizards make it easy to try settings within the application. You will also find a flowchart in the datasheet that helps you to find the most important parameters to configure for a certain operation. The TMC560 normally will be operated with an external precise known clock as most systems have a microcontroller with a precise crystal oscillator. An external clock provides well-defined RAM timing and precise motor chopper operation. If an external clock is used, the first rising edge on the clock pin switches to external clock. The TMC5160 adds clock fail safe circuitry in case the external clock is lost. When no clock is available, for example in decentralized drives controlled via the single wire UART interface, the internal clock is often sufficient in order to operate with a precise step rate. Due to factory trimming, it typically has a tolerance of plus minus 1%. If the internal clock is used, the clock pin must be tied to ground. It must never be left floating, as the first pulse switches off the internal clock generator. The PCB layout is critical for good and reliable operations, especially for high driver currents. A 4-layer PCB is a must, as well as the use of thick, straight and short traces for MOSFET and sense resistor interconnections. The datasheet provides some hints and also refers to the TMC5160 evaluation board and breakout board. Special care should be taken to ensure good electrical and good thermal properties. Connect the PCB top layer to a large PCB ground and use thicker inner layers for better heat distribution. In the motor driver circuitry, highly sensitive analog signals are close to high current motor and gate current tracks, so a good placement is essential. Keep symmetric placement and layout for both sense resistors, highlighted in red, while placing them close to the power MOSFETs. This avoids additional trace resistance and inductance from leading to voltage spikes. Each sense resistor should use multiple wires to the ground plane. Place power filter capacitors, highlighted in green, as close as possible to the driver's supply pin. The 4.7 microfarad ceramic capacitor on 5 volt out should be placed with its ground return going directly to the ground plane. Use as short and as thick connections as possible. The motor supply voltage pins should be decoupled by ceramic capacitors. Additional electrolytic capacitors help reducing electrical noise and avoid swing over destroying the circuit in lab setups, where the power supply may suddenly be connected or disconnected. Take the best advantage of the chip's functionality by finding the best configuration. First, define the microstep resolution your controller can provide. Then configure chopper settings. Get high performance with Trinamics features, stealth chop, spread cycle, cool step, DC step and stall guard. Whatever your application is, start your design easily using Trinamics Evaluation Board and Kits. Each eval kit gives you direct access to all registers using Trinamics' own software, allowing you to develop your own firmware. Besides the Evaluation Kit, the TMC5160 is also available as a breakout board. This bob contains everything that's needed for rapid prototyping and can be used on a breadboard or with flying wires as all sensitive signals such as sense lines are rooted on the bob itself. Moreover, the bobs are open source, meaning you can copy the design and tweak it to your own specific needs. Thank you for watching this getting started product training module. Further links and information can be found in the video description.